Hi, and welcome to another episode of the Fat Blokes Shorts. One of the cool new features in VirtualBox 2.1 for Windows guests and 2.2 for Linux and Unix guests is the ability for VirtualBox to use the power of 3D acceleration that the host may have, but expose it to the guest. So in this um, Fat Blokes show today, we're going to show how that works for an Ubuntu guest. And the first thing that we need to do is turn on 3D acceleration in our virtual machine. Then we simply need to turn on the guest. And so Ubuntu is starting up right now. By the way, this is uh, the latest Ubuntu 9.04. And the guest additions are already installed. Uh, that's one of the things you really need to check there because uh, as we explain later on, the guest additions form a key part of how we uh, intercept OpenGL requests. So as the guest starts up, it'll see that it's got uh, 3D accelerated hardware. So now what we need to do is we simply need to inform the system that we're gonna use uh, different visual effects. So I'm going to turn on visual effects um, extra. And now whenever we open up an application, let's choose for instance the, uh, the clock application. You can see that as I wave this around, there's a lot of wobbliness there. Or let's just start a simple terminal window. And as we move it around, you can see that it, uh, it wobbles as we move around. And what's happening here is that the OpenGL requests are being intercepted by our drivers and are being passed all the way down to the host hardware. So here's like an expose kind of feature here in Ubuntu, which is separate from the Mac expose uh, feature. And I can move my windows around onto different workspaces. I can zoom into that workspace. And when I start up applications, you can see that they're wobbly as well. Here's a, a browser window that's wobbly. And if I resize, you can see the uh, the effects here. Another thing I can do is use the Compass Config Window Manager, which gives me which gives me finer grain control over what I really want to do. So one of the effects that I quite like is the desktop cube, where we stick our workspaces, and the workspaces are these things in the bottom right hand corner. We can stick them onto the different faces of a cube, and then I can use uh, a control key sequence or um, control alt and the mouse to drag this around like this and you can see that each of those workspaces is on the side of a cube so I can do things like you know maybe have one workspace which um, is just for my browser window so let's say this one over here is where the browser lives and that's where I do my browsing now how does all this work under the hood well, the OpenGL application, such as the clock or the window manager that was drawing things onto the screen, is the OpenGL application, and that is using the VirtualBox 3D driver that's part of the guest editions on Linux in this instance. Whenever we get a request from uh, OpenGL, we pass it down through a high-speed, low-latency channel to the host, and we use the host capabilities to execute on the graphics hardware that it makes available in this instance on my Max hardware. Okay, so in summary, we needed to do three things to get wobbly windows in our guests. Number one, we had to enable 3D acceleration in the virtual machine configuration. That We did that via the VirtualBox graphical user interface, but you can do it through the command line as well. Secondly, you had to make sure that the guest editions are installed inside of your guests, whether it's a Windows or an Ubuntu or a, uh, any other type of Linux or Open Solaris type of guest. Make sure they're installed. And then number three, go ahead and use it. You know, configure your operating system or, like in our instance, uh, the Ubuntu system preferences so that you can start to make use of the 3D acceleration. That's it for this uh, week's episode. Join us again soon on Fatblog TV. Thank you.